In this video, we surprise our favorite travel YouTubers, Karen Nate. We're Karen Nate. With a gift worth over $1,000. <laughs> Using strategies seen by Eric all of last year. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Confused? Let me roll back a couple of weeks ago to explain. <laughs> hey, how are you? Great. Good. Hi. A few weeks ago, we posted our billboard video where a surprise Megan with her very own billboard. Oh, God. <laughs> In that... It sounded sore. In that video, you would have heard how I actually booked two different slots. One in May and one in July. And since that video went live, I've been racking my brain to try and think of a cool video idea to do for the second slot. And for weeks, I was struggling to come up with a concrete idea until I came across... Ugh, this pool is freezing. Ugh. Until I came across a guy named Eric. Oh! That was worth $5,000. <laughs> or some people call him... Eric Decker or Eric is one of the fastest growing creators on the platform at the moment. In his first year, he managed to go from zero subscribers all the way up to one million. Ah! Oh my gosh. What? Oh my go! God. To put that in perspective, we've been doing YouTube for about eight months and have only surpassed about a thousand by now. Man, that's embarrassing. Every single day, YouTube just gets harder and harder. That's what she said. <laughs> And harder to grow on. Today, it's harder to become a top tier creator than it is to get into the NBA. Heck, YouTube is probably the most desirable job in the entire world. With hours of YouTube photos being uploaded every second, it's becoming nearly impossible to compete. But not impossible. Nothing is impossible. So that just begs the question, how did one person go from zero subscribers in January 2020 to 1 million in December 2020. So after watching hours and hours of ERA, I noticed one thing. When Eric started, you noticed how he takes current social trends and adapts those trends to fit his videos. For example, his very first video sees him visit the real sets of Stranger Things. <laughs> Another thing that was trending at the time was Justin Bieber's wedding. He did his best to try and sneak into that. We are not crashing the wedding. And he also created a fake Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> when Elon Musk announced the new car. Oh my god. Those video ideas seem to attract a large audience, but not big enough to make a splash on you. And that's when you notice how he started to use big YouTubers as his trend. As YouTubers in general are just trending topics on the internet. As I started to look more into this, I noticed this is definitely how he went from zero to one million in a year. <laughs> I also came across Colin and Samir's podcast video with him where they described this tactic that he uses as social, social hack. hacking. This is when you make content that has to do with larger social trends with the goal of riding the wave of that social trend and the large audience that comes with it. And with the large following that it comes with, you should hopefully be able to take even just a percentage of that, but that percentage could equal hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. We've seen Eric do this famously with Logan Paul. You're the most persistent person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> really quickly, I just want to interrupt this video to say if you haven't already, make sure to press subscribe. We're trying to get to 5,000 by the end of the year. Ambitious, I know, but with your help, we can do it. So make sure to press subscribe and back to the video. So yeah, after months of thinking, I ended up coming up with nothing and copying someone instead. But I'm going to adapt it to suit us. So technically, I'm just copying his strategy. Actually, I'm gonna say inspired. Inspired by his strategy, not copy. Inspired. That should cover my ass a little bit. One thing that Eric said in the podcast that really stuck with me was... And what I always tell people is, if you're going to try to do a collaboration, you have to create a situation where they win bigger than you do. So what's one thing that I can get? Wait, I didn't even tell you who it's for. I didn't even tell you who we're collabing with. Actually, you've probably seen the title, so you probably know exactly who it is, but might as well show you. Oh, Karen Eight. <laughs> Getting their ad sense in. We're Karen Nate. Yes, you are. So yeah, Karen Nate. If you're watching this, welcome. You're most likely not, but hi anyway. So you're all probably thinking, what can us as tiny, tiny little dots in the YouTube space do for arguably one of the biggest travel channels in the entire world? Well, I have a billboard slot, and I'm sure Karen Nate wouldn't mind some free advertisement. Woo! So the plan is to do a similar thing that I did with Megan a few weeks ago and surprise them. Like, no idea. 
with a big subscribe sign on the busiest road here in Bali. Now that that's all sorted and out of the way, sorry for the very long intro, but I just needed you to understand my thought process and what I've been thinking about for the last few weeks. If you don't know who Karen Nade are, Karen Nade are a married couple from Nashville, Tennessee, who sold everything nearly six years ago to travel the world, and since then have created one of the biggest YouTube travel channels on the planet. Over the last five and a half years, they've been able to grow their channel to over two million subscribers and 400 million views. We only have over 30,000. Don't tell them. As you can probably tell from some of our videos, Karenade have heavily influenced our style of videos, just like Casey Neistat did with them. This is the most Casey Neistat moment of my entire life. And to be perfectly honest, if it wasn't for them, we probably wouldn't be doing this right now. Heck, we probably wouldn't even be in Bali right now. So firstly, I need to get back in contact with the billboard guy. Hello? I spent the next half an hour talking to the organizer. Okay, bye, 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 bye. All right, that's all set. Now on to creating the billboard. Which took me far too long to create. And then just give us a little bit of a shout out. Done and sent. All right, that's it. The billboard goes up in a couple of days. And I think the best way to start that day would be in classic Karen Nate style with a lot of coffee, 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 coffee tends to help. I've got a text. I'm going to the company and the number is ready. So now we have to go. Close your eyes. I'm going to pull in here. Uh, okay. Obviously because Carrot and Nate are not here, we can't show them. So we're going to have to do. Fionn obviously designed it. So he's seen the design, but he hasn't actually seen it in person. So we're both going to turn around. We're going to close our eyes and then we're going to turn around and we're going to see what it looks like. On behalf of Carrot and Nate, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ready? Go. Okay, turn. Where is it? <laughs> Over here. <laughs> we don't even know where we are. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Faces are very big. <laughs> yeah, road to three mil. <laughs> I want to try and see if I get closer to it. <laughs> there they are. I really hope they don't mind their faces being splattered all over the main street here in Bali for next week, or be mind being slightly associated with tiny little YouTubers like us. Now that I'm looking at it, I really hope they don't mind. But hey, high risk, high reward. Okay, so this is where we really need your help. We're going to try... Post it on the same day that Carrot and Nate schedule their videos, which is... Sunday evenings, our time, Sunday afternoon, probably your time. Yeah. yeah. Where we want you guys to head over to their latest video and comment... Finnameg billboard, hashtag, road to three minutes. If you want to go that little bit further, you can do the exact same on their latest Instagram pic and like and share our comments on the exact same video. And hopefully that will start a little bit of a spark and they might end up seeing the comments. In the future, you might even see us in a video together, hopefully through the process. Is that Amy? That's, that the, go that's the goal, anyway. I don't know. And Karen, if you are watching, shoot us- a very us unlikely yeah. chance if you are watching. <laughs> shoot us a DM. We would love to hear from you. Whether you liked it, disliked it, hated it, were embarrassed, whatever. Probably hated it. <laughs> we're gonna leave this video here. We hope you liked it. Again, make sure you go and comment on their latest video just so we can start a spark. And other than that, we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.